Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Tauruses for the week starting April 11, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggvtarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you for those who subscribe already. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for your like, your share, your comments, your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now my Taurus, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance. And I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position this week. We have here the devil coming in a past position, but as a major arcana, the energy is very, very strong. Okay. So what we know so far, there was a new moon in your 12th house. It was in Aries, the last sign before yours. And the devil really represents some type of entrapment, okay, being caught up in some type of difficult situation that could be in your relationship, that could be in your family life, career, business, education, okay, could be in different areas of life. But you know, there's a lot of energy in your 12th house. The sun is in Aries, then you had the, um, the new moon also, the moon was in Aries, so the 12th house is the house of self undoing. Okay, is a house of sort of things that we don't see, illusions, okay, um, drugs and alcohol, it's the house of hidden enemies. So maybe you're spending here, you were forced to review or maybe review the last year, okay, because the 12th house energy, we all have to go through that, all of us. So maybe with that new moon, it was a little bit confusion for you. And then, you know, Mercury is in your house. So Mercury is about clarity and communication. So you're still walking between the 12 and the first house. So that could be what is happening here for you, my Taurus. But let's see what we have in the position of the near past this week. We have the Emperor. I like it because it, sees, it shows here that you're turning your back at this. It could have been really just like I said, the 12th house. Because whenever we go, you know, through, uh, you know, or the month prior to birthday, it, it's a time that we review the last year and sometimes we're hard on ourselves and, you know. But here, the emperor is quite the opposite. It's, a, it's another major arcana, okay? And this uh, energy is very strong, okay? Because here it's about, ha you know, having conviction and uh, conviction, I hope I say the word properly, okay? So basically, it's just the ability to execute plans and ideas, okay? So it's when you're moving forward and you're looking at what's ahead, okay? With, you know, with, your, with a certain level of leadership and, um, and understanding, okay? Because that's what the emperor represents. The emperor is the highest archetype in terms of, in terms of men and authority and leadership, there's, he's the highest leader out there, okay? So, because, you know, my Taurus have a, a lot of leadership, especially, I feel, right now in terms of your career. So, the emperor here really wants to maintain an overview on all situation, okay? But, you know, he wants to, to have the ability to reason, okay? He wants to be able to see things for what they are. So, you know, it's telling you that, you know... You, enough about this, you know, you know, lack of clarity or this illusions or just, you know, you reviewing your past. Now you want to move forward because it'll be your birthday soon. Okay. So that's what the emperor is in this position. It's telling you that you have a strong position in your environment and that could be in your love life or, you know, career and other areas that I mentioned as well. So it's a very positive card for you, my Taurus. And let's see what we have in the position of um, the future this week. The lovers. Okay, so that's what 
the emperor is looking at. The other lovers in the major arcana represent Gemini. Okay, so Gemini ruler is Mercury. But here it could be that you're looking at, you know, your relationships, your close relationship. Because here, you know, it says the lover. Okay, sometimes also when I have this card coming out in a reading, and it's a very general reading here, it could also indicate some type of contract, binding contract, business contract, mutual understanding, profitable contract that are have a lot of, you know, um, that, that are profitable for both sides, okay? Um, yes, so in a way, yes, of course, it does represent love. So it could be that some of my Tauruses are really involved in, um, you know, looking at establishing some type of relationship in your life, okay? Um, that relationship um, could be romantical, it could be someone new that you're looking at, you know, for my singles, Taurus, Tauruses. Or uh, for those that are already in relationship, it could be now you wanting to um, change cycle, change energy in your relationship. And this in the future, because it's a major arcana and it's being backed by the emperor, shows that you'll be able to get that type of change this week. Okay, so if things hasn't been going too well, in terms of your relationship or you have been confused or receiving different signals know that going forward it will go it will be better okay know that starting this week you get that type of clarity but remember there will be a mercury retrograde in your sign okay in a couple of weeks but we'll see that when we get there and let's see what we have in a position of the outcome for you this week the Ace of Swords. Very happy to see this card. This is the, you know, the thumbs up from the universe. Okay, as we see here, okay, the, the hand coming from the sky with the crown here. This is a card about full clarity, which is what, you know, you came out, you know, you're, you're coming out from, uh, from, from confusion. Okay, now you're coming in with clarity. Okay, uh, so here, this energy is very important. Like I said, Mercury is in Taurus, so you, you have the full card, and use this moment very, very, um, you know, use this moment for your advantage, because like I said, soon Mercury will be in retrograde in your house, in your house, so, you know, you might have to review what, what is happening now, so now, make sure that you communicate clearly, Okay, and if there's any confusion in your mind, make sure that you bring that out with the people that are involved. But it's important here that you go forward in having this understanding with others, how people relate to you, how you relate to others. Because that's what the Ace of Swords is, okay? The energy is about mental clarity, visions, having a clear vision, having an understanding, a mutual understanding with other people and like people that you know um, that will be approaching you okay you never know because this mercury retrograde is a little tricky especially in the first half but like I said it's not coming in yet but it's starting to slow down but as I see having this card and the outcome it shows for you my Tauruses that you'll have this vision of the future because you know you're looking ahead there's different areas that you want to work on that you're interested in it could be love businesses you know family and things of that nature so go ahead okay that's what the ace of swords is telling you now especially this week is the time to put things forward don't wait too long okay now is a good time to go in a direction that you're looking forward okay that you want to um you know gain this understanding or you know just maybe create some some new energy okay because it will be your birthday soon so there's a lot of changes coming in for you in your life okay so i will end this reading here for you my tauruses let me know how this resonated with you leave me comments until next week send you lots of kisses i love you